Aha! It works! Is it just me, or does that uh, head look a lot like Bender? It actually does look a lot like Bender. Alright, Bender, have some wrapped here. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Oh, that's scaring them off. And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Yes, I completed a major achievement now. To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, or already digested food, or even more rats. To be honest, I maybe rot or even more. Eh, yeah, coward. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. I've done with your task. Can I go home now? Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> You're a bit of a slob, aren't you? The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? The rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you later, lad. All right, then I go home then. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses, or fight any dragons, or hunt any orcs. I chased a rat off, and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. It's going to take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Hall of Heroes, but I'm going to make it one day. Hmm. And now something completely unexpected happens that sends them off on a great adventure. But just then! See? I told it! I called it, that's what you say, I called it, not told it. Hey you, boy, you've got to get me out of here. Quickly, please. I was abducted, an elf freed me. They want... You've got to believe me, I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy, it's too late. You see this ring? It's the key. Take it to the human arts mage in the town of Seastone. You understand? I understand. But... All of our fates depend on it. He's been chosen for a greater adventure now. Oh, dear, dear. Nobody's going to believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the Master Brewer for help. Or Grandad. He fought for the Alliance. So what... Hang on. A small little creature, not really... Living a very simple life, suddenly gets roped into a high tail adventure because of a gold ring. That's even known as THE ring. A heavy gold ring. Ooh, it feels warm. There is some fine script on the inside, but I can't make out what it says. There are a few who can. Oh my god! Seriously? <laughs> of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. But this year, winter came particularly early. All we need now is to find some more gnomes so we can start ourselves a little fellowship. It worked. I got one. Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. 
Apparently the statue is not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than the others do. The bastion looks so impressive. However, many of the halls and corridors were never completed. All right. No, I, I, what is it? Master Brewer, sir! Hello? Master Brewer, sir! Where are you? He seems to be dozing off. Master Brewer, sir! Master Brewer! <clears throat> what? What? We have to tell the other dwarves. There was this gremlin in a cage and he gave me this ring and... What kind of ring, then? This, this ring. It's a very important ring. The gremlin said all our fates... Uh, Wilbur, I really don't have time for this kid stuff. I've got more important things to do. But the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage down in the human town. The Gremlin said it could end the war. Listen, laddie, that's a ring. What's it supposed to be able to do? Turn somebody it's... invisible? I have to. The, the Gremlin wasn't lying. Just think about it. When has anybody ever given an important ring to a little being like a gnome? That sort of thing just doesn't happen. Well, but... That's enough. Now, go home. It's getting late. Well, not to a gnome, but to a hobbit, perhaps. <sighs> I guess I can't expect any help from the Master Brewer. Well, I suppose we better go and visit Grandad, then. The X-100 makes a pretty good rat hunter. I just hope it never mistakes me for a rat. Well, don't just feed in any it DNA. It did its job and promptly fine. switched itself off again. Our rat... Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed to live here to defend the Mountain Kingdom's northern front. Now the Master Brewer and my family are the only ones left. The tarps are supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. Ooh. I'm not climbing up there, it's all iced up. I'd probably end up breaking my neck. Aww. But I wanted that tarp, it looks so white. That's the entrance to my family's gnome hall. We've been living here for generations. <laughs> I like the little antenna. A rolled up tarpaulin, probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. This seems useful. Golden rule with a point and click adventure game. If you see something you can pick up, you pick it up. No excuses. Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister, really, but uh, I did watch. That's enough, it's still flying. It still works. A solid example of gnome technology, if I do say so myself. chair. This chair is completely uninteresting. Yeah, I don't know, it sounds interesting when you say it, call it like that. Like I said, a chair to sit on, it's still a chair. A totally uninteresting chair, which has absolutely no help to me. Not now, not ever. I don't know, maybe if, with a bit more persistence it could be useful. It is a chair. Honest. Okay, whatever. It's a horse. <laughs> a beautiful big white horse. What is your problem? A chair is a chair is a chair. But when if but when is it not a chair? <sighs> I'm not going to answer. Oh, you're no fun anymore. <laughs> That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding down the fort. The others are all at a technology trade show down south. My dad is a mechanic and a physicist. He primarily works on, uh, things. Mother is just a whole wife and geneticist. 
The baby's my little sister, Sydney. I think she'll be a researcher too. She once doubled her baby phone's data transfer rate using nothing but a rattle and a rubber ball. <laughs> my other little sister is Maggie, my parents' pride and joy. She mainly concentrates on robotics, combat robots to be exact. Grandad is a war veteran and conducts secret military research. Whenever Dad lets him in the workshop, that is. <laughs> Looks like I'm the proverbial exception to the rule. I'd rather go out into the world and become a mage, a hero like Knight Tilo. But someone has to look after Grandad and the Master Brewer. I'm more of a local, unsung hero. So basically, you're not living the greatest of lives at the moment. That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding. My dad is a mother Mother is she wants okay. my other little Grandad. It looks like I'd rock. Another one of Dad's inventions. He calls it eclecticity or something. It's got something to do with hamsters. We used to have jelly glowfish all over the walls. I found that a little cozier. Jelly glowfish? One of my dad's inventions. He calls it a time measurometer. It spits the day into two periods of 12 hours each and shows which hour we are currently in. Sometimes I think that thing uses time up instead of just showing it. <laughs> so true. Oh, I can catch that thing. That door is part of Dad's living space optimization unit. Behind it is sort of a car park for rooms. You catch the robot. Catch the robot. Oh, I can't reach that. Well, you could reach him if you use the chair. The chair, of course. That's the key to it all. Not. <laughs> You're no help. Those are my mum's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. A flower pot full of potting soil. Hmm, doesn't look like Mother planted anything in there. Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. I can't use it until they get back. That's the lever for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. She builds combat robots, and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. Okay, that's not gonna be pulled then. This is my very cool room. Oh, a backpack. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that. But somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, it's my old tennis racket. Although I was never very good. Basically, for those who don't know, it's fairly common in role-playing games that you start with one backpack, and then you can find additional backpacks that gives you more room to hold items. The only real question is, where do you put all those uh, backpacks and bad bags and such? Cat gut is missing. What did I use that for? Is there anything uh, else invaluable in here? Uh, no, let's see if there's something else. If What this switch does. Our kitchen. How quaint. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong, comparatively. <laughs> Hmm, there's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Hmm. I don't even know what to do with one handful of barley. Why do I need two, then? Okay, that apparently didn't Mum hid the knives as a precaution. After Grandad's knife-throwing training classes last year, she doesn't trust us anymore. Hmm, a pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. Hmm, sounds like if only I could, could cast spells like Merlin, or any other household cleaner for that matter. 